Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayers on Saturday. And I'd like to take the opportunity of wishing you all a very happy new year. Today I'm using a reflection by Joe Kelly Moore, Dean of St Albans. And this was from last year's At the Heart of Christmas Meditations. She is looking ahead to Epiphany and the coming of the Magi. Of course, we don't know how many magi or wise men and shepherds there were. A point I stress because when we moved house in 2015, the nativity set didn't entirely make it. Um, Now we only have one Mary, one Joseph, one baby Jesus, one shepherd and one wise man. But biblically speaking, that is of course um, accurate. So let's come to God in worship now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. You laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth. To you be praise and glory for ever. As your living word, eternal in heaven, assumed the frailty of our mortal flesh, May the light of your love be born in us to fill our hearts with joy as we say, Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, and this new year. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Today's reading is taken from Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 to 12. When they had heard the king, the wise men set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh, and having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. So this is Joe Kelly Moore's reflection. In the story of Jesus's birth, the Magi are a wonderful exclamation mark, proclaiming that the light of Christ has come into the world. In following the star, they bring their lives and their gifts both to proclaim the arrival of God's son and to worship him as their gifts tell us something of Jesus' own life journey that was to come, so Matthew's Gospel records the Magi journeying on from Bethlehem, still guided by God. While our nativity sets are soon put away for another year, the Feast of Epiphany reminds us that the truth of Christmas never ends and that Jesus journeys on with each of us as well. He invites us to know the light of his love joy, peace and hope guiding our way. And he invites us in turn to be bearers of his light in the world. So let's pray. And as we pray, let's invite Jesus to journey with us in 2023. Let's ask God to show us what areas of our lives particularly need Jesus's light and a bit more of Jesus's goodness and let's ask God how we can bring the light of Christ's love to the journeys of others this week this month this year
rejoicing in the presence of God here among us. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. If you are out partying tonight, I wish you a very good evening and I look forward to seeing you all in 2023. So let's say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>